Hello, it's Jason Payne for JDP Realty Group, a coal banker, d and Realtor. Well, today I'm gonna to try something different in my lot tours. I'm gonna to try to combine them all into this one video. So today I'm at one of my favorite high-end luxury communities of Cordillera Ranch. I said it right this time. And this is gonna be right off Highway 46, not far from Blanco Road, and also not far from uh, beautiful downtown Bernie, Texas. So a lot of good things going for this community, and you also have easy access to get to, well, civilization as far as like high-end shopping by going down uh, Bornheim slash Fair Oaks Road. You can be anywhere you wanna be in this area in about 20 minutes, which that's a huge win. Anyways, this is a beautiful community so that has some really upscale homes. Uh, FYI, George Strait lives in this community. Uh, he moved from Dominion to Cordillera Ranch, from what I was told, because they wouldn't let him land his helicopter in the Dominion. That's what I've been told. Anyways, a lot going for this community. It does have its own private river access to the Guadalupe River. I'm sure we're gonna see that a little bit later on. Uh, outstanding clubhouse with a golf course gun range horses a lot to do with that clubhouse however being part of the club here at Cordillera ranch is an additional fee uh speaking of fees hoas here are going to be a little bit higher because they are, do have gated communities with gate guards you're looking right about two thousand dollars a year in hoa fees but if you're in the world that can afford to live out here that's not so bad anyways let's go some do some lot tours all right let's All right, the first lot we're gonna to do today is a uh, lot 76 Sun River. It is a 2.37 acre lot. And as of late October, 2021, they are asking 299K for it. Let's go take it out. It is a beautiful day in Texas. This is on one of the kind of side roads, so you're not gonna see a lot of traffic. The lot's gonna go from where my truck is at to where you see this electrical box and then go back quite a bit. Let's kind of see what the uh, immediate neighborhood looks like. See a couple houses in the distance. Now, um, if I'm reading the maps right, um, this neighborhood does require a 50 foot natural vegetation setback. That's why you see it all kind of grassy and uh, the regular underbrush kind of up in front. They don't want you to clean cut everything in the first 50 feet of your lot. All right, let's go back in the woods here and uh, see what we see. It does have uh, quite a bit of uh, little junipers that need to be cleared out. This lot does slope from the front to the rear. So if you did build on here, unless I find a really big flat spot up top, you will have stairs in the front and some foundation off the front of the property. Because yeah, this is going up pretty good. This is definitely not a flat part of the lot, but we might get rewarded with an incredible view out the front of the house just having a little steep driveway going up we're starting to see the rooftops of the other houses that did the same thing get my workout in today all right we are coming into a little bit more flat spot on this lot you can see the other houses. It's hard to say if there's gonna be a good, there should be a good view if you clear out the junifers, but keep the oaks. Because man, you don't wanna mess with these beautiful oak trees. <clears throat> so there is a potential for a nice view out the front, peeking through the trees. But well, it's a pretty good driveway slope going down. Figure out how you'd want to carve your driveway out of the property. You do already have all the neighbors that are gonna be on this road, on this side of the road anyways, 
already there, so no surprises. Got a beautiful home back that direction. And yeah, this is relatively flat plateau up here. I didn't check to see what exact direction we're facing, but it's 1245 and the sun's just a little bit. I'm not gonna show you straight in the sun, but that direction. All right, let's follow this game trail. See where we're going. This lot does go back here quite a bit. There's some tall grasses. And then get in some more oaks. All right, we might be judging by where that lot is ending with their fence. This is probably the back part of this lot. So you will have some trees kind of separating where your lot would end and the other lot would begin. This would be actually the back part of the lot back here. So, which if you did have clear out some of these junipers up here, you could have an incredible view. Let me get to a spot where we might be able to see what this view is. Sorry, I'm trying to find out how long this house, this lot's been on the market. Oh, only 20 days. So this lot's only been on the market for 20 days. The reason that's important is you do, if a lot's been on the market for a long, long time, you always under, wonder asking why has that lot been on the market for a long time. But clearing some of these out, you can see, it's got a pretty nice view out the front. Can't say much for the back. But yeah, this would be the area kind of a little bit back that direction because you would definitely want to keep these big oaks in the front of the house. But this space here where it kind of plateaus from where, like, where these oak trees are. And you still have a, a slope going from the front to the top, but it's not nearly as dramatic as what's in the front of the property. And then going back to where you can see that oak tree right back there would be a really good spot to put this whole section here. It'd be a great spot for a house. Definitely get with a builder to find out where the ideal place to be putting a uh, driveway coming up here and getting into a garage situation. But you can see the neighbors right next door, they did the same thing. But let's go down this fence line to see what the views are off to the side. Because yeah, this is still the property line. There's my truck where I mentioned earlier where this property cuts off at. So yeah, you could have your driveway coming up this direction here and then slide into the side of the house and uh, have this little space. And this would be really neat clearing out some of these junifers and having a, a little bit better view. I can't say it'd be unobstructed view unless you cleared out all the oaks and I would never recommend that. But yeah, you can see there's some beautiful homes in this community. But it would be a pretty steep driveway going up, coming up. All right. On to the next tour. All right, now this lot behind me is lot 14 on Riverwood. This is in the main section of Cordillera Ranch. And the cool things about this is a very flat lot. It is 2.37 acres. 
Now the price is, price is a little bit higher. They're asking 350 for the lot and lots of gorgeous trees on this lot. And the Guadalupe River access for this community is just a walk around this corner. All right, let's go check out the lot itself. And then we're gonna go check out the river. All right, before we go check out the lot, let's look around what this road looks like. We are kind of in the, toward the back part of Cordillera Ranch. They do have a gorgeous clubhouse more closer to the front. But you can see there's not a lot of neighbors around. Right around this bend is where the small road leading to the Guadalupe River is at. But let's see if you can kind of see what the house across the street from this property looks like. I absolutely do love this community. Very upscale, guarded gates around the house, all around this community. But yep, yeah, another beautiful house across the street from it. All right, let's go check out this lot. All right, we got to a little more of a clearing spot. I walked myself into a space where I'm like, okay, it's getting hard to walk out of here. But this is a beautiful lot. And I guess the seller knows it. That's why they did the asking price of 350. But that doesn't necessarily mean that's what you have to offer it. But it is a almost two and a half acre lot. And for my buyer who's in Utah, I know he likes to do the long distance bicycle rides. I have talked to a previous owner in this community he said there's quite a few people that do just that in this community. So linking up with folks to do that would be very easy. There's the house next door. So you can see them a little bit from this spot of the property. But when I do my driving tour of this community, there are a lot of drop dead gorgeous mansion-esque homes out here. Yep, I'm calling that a word, mansion-esque. All right, just tons of trees and everything is, we usually call things hill country flat, but this is regular flat, not necessarily hill country flat. This is a very flat lot. All right, coming back up towards the road. See so just oodles and oodles of trees back here. All right, I promise we're gonna take you down by the river because this lot is probably a eight minute walk to the river. So uh, yeah, let's go check that out. GoPro, stop recording. All right, this is the park for Cordillero Ranch, giving you private access to the Guadalupe. It is literally, I'm guessing about a quarter of a mile. So yeah, about um, 800 yards or so from the Riverwood, Lot 14 Riverwood house. So yeah, just a, maybe a 10 minute walk, if that, to get to this park area. See the lady out here doing her morning walk. But definitely no, far enough away that you don't have to worry about flooding at all. We had some pretty good rains last night, but you do have a nice little spot for just bringing kayaks down, to put in here, and the Guadalupe River State Park, which I've done a video tour of, isn't too far away. So that'd be an easy free pullout spot if you weren't doing kayaks or 
even go for a long tube float. But yeah, this is just, you don't get too many opportunities to live walking distance to the Guadalupe River and they're not gonna have, this is not open to the public, only people in uh, Cordillera Ranch have access to this part of the Guadalupe River. Well, people floating down the river are river rights. This is public domain down there. So anybody can go float down the river, but getting coming down here with access, only the people with uh, that live in Cordillera got it. All right, on to the next tour. All right, for the next stop on our tour, we're in the Cordillera Springs section, which is just across the street from the main uh, community. The lot we're going to look at is lot 10 on Legstone Trail. This is the smallest lot we're going to see today. It is 0.89 acres, so a little bit less than an acre, but they're only asking 194K. It's an irregular shaped lot. Let's check it out. All right, this is going to be more of an irregular shape. It's going to be a pie kind of spot so you can see you have a narrow entryway so if you did select this lot you pretty much have a driveway and you're going to go in back and uh, it's not a bad lot the sun will be setting back over this direction so it would not be setting on the back of the house which of course I prefer I can hear a little bit of road noise because you do have Bornheim Road not too far from here. Uh, mentioned a second ago, this is the newest section. So the main part of Cordillera Ranch has some just spectacular views. And we're going to be looking at some lots there too. But this is the least expensive lot that's also not currently owned by a different builder. But this is, uh, they also have a hundred yard setback requirement to build in this community. So your home site, you do have some nice oak trees spot, but your home site's probably gonna be right back this direction. Another nice oak kind of up front. This is also quite flat. So this is kind of the meat and potatoes of where you would put the house. Yeah, it's, there's your 100 foot, here's your space. Still quite quiet, light breeze. It is a gorgeous day in Texas today. Doing this for my Utah client who's already dealing with snow in uh, Utah and as I'm filming this we're in late October no snow in sight we got like a 65 to 70 degree day going today it is perfect all right well the lot continues a little bit back further this direction like I said it's an irregular shape almost a full acre so uh, yeah Let's head on to the next lot on our tour. All right, the next stop on our uh, lot tour is lot 6A Landmark Place, also in the Cordillera Springs section, just outside the main community. And this is kind of on a little roundabout, and right behind me is the lot. Let's go check it out. Not a lot to see on this side of the community because it has not been open all that long, maybe a couple of months. But a lot of spots in Cordillera Ranch, they do have these little trails just behind this little, I'm not even sure what that is. But uh, you do have some trails that go back there, and this is the lot we're talking about. All right, let's go for a walk through this lot. Now the winds have picked up a little bit. I hope uh, you're still picking up. You do have some houses over there uh, off to the side, but this is uh, definitely a little topography difference on this side. I think the other, the main portion's got a little more topography on it. 
but this is a really flat lot. Like I said, it's just over two acres and they are asking 325 for this lot. Some nice oaks up front. And this does branch out to like this whole backside. So this whole thing is part of the lot. And the sun does set, would set on the back porch because west is kind of that direction and this is, would be like the back part of the house. But this is a really flat spot to be building on. You could have these trees surrounding you. Like I said, there's the neighbor. And it looks like there will be nobody back behind you. See, it starts to slope down. You got a little grove of trees back here. Well, yeah, if you definitely, if you're looking for some space in between houses, this is a really good spot. My personal thing, I do like the main section of Cordillera Ranch a little bit better than uh, the new springs part, but that's my personal opinion. All right. And it looks like the property line stops just past kind of where this first row of trees are at. This is a really, like I said, they got the spacing route really nice because you're gonna have a wide and semi-deep lot. But yeah, your property line is gonna be right past where this first row of trees are at, but go a little bit further down this direction. So definitely gonna have some nice uh, space back here to do whatever you wanna do. Let's see what back down this direction. Looks like a little ravine. Four drainage down there, yep. So this drops off pretty significantly at the back edge of the property. And there obviously would be nobody building back there. I think that little post, yeah, that post you see kind of way back on the other side of where the water drainage is the corner of the property. So, and half of the, eh, most of these trees are gonna be on the property. So you could do something back here with this, but just remember the sun will be setting right there and your house will be kind of up in this main area here before it starts getting slopey. Because right now I'm going back uphill to more of this flat space. All right. Let's see what else we can find. All right, if you're still with me at this point, thank you. But that's gonna wrap up the lot tour of this wonderful community. If you're looking for more information, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information will be on the final slide. And in the near future, I do plan to do a motorcycle tour of this community, along with a video showing what all being a member of the club at Cordillera Ranch involves, like the golf course, pools, tennis, gun club. There's a lot involved in being a club member. It's just gonna be an additional cost on top of the HOA dues. Anyways, uh, if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and as always, keep sharing these videos with your friends. All right, take care now. Bye.